there's a lot of value to be had still. I know we've got a couple more weeks of this, but it seems like over the last week, at least, we saw a lot of re-signings, guys coming back into the fold. And I'm just curious, before we get into some specifics, how you view that, what the advantages are of, you know, big free agency splash signings are great and big names, all that stuff is really fun. But when you bring back some of those core key contributors, where's the advantage in that for NFL teams? Well, it all depends, you know. I think I think this year was really handicapped by the salary cap being lessened because, of, of the, again, because of the pandemic. They lost a lot of money in the salary cap, so then teams have to figure out what they're going to do, uh, which automatically puts so many teams over the cap to, to begin with. So re-signing your guys, sometimes your Pro Bowl guys, sometimes the guys with the C on their chest, just isn't an option because – you just can't afford them with, with the salary cap. Uh, if you could keep all your guys, if they were all healthy, it'd be a great thing. Look at Kansas City getting rid of both tackles, but both tackles didn't play in the Super Bowl. So you can understand why they let both of those guys go. But both guys are pro bowlers. So it's like, you know, six and one, half a dozen the other. Uh, if you have a huge need on the team and you and a guy just happens to fall into your lap, then you, you, you make out like a bandit. 